Hi, Zeus here. I beat global number one on the main base. A Chinese player goes by the name of JS using a smoky rear right corner attack and remote hack. And I wanted to show you how I did that. So JS has nine boosted ice, two doom cannons, a laser, and it's a pretty hard base to beat. Except at the moment, there's a special gunboat ability, Remote Hack. So I'm going to try something a little different, a smoky rear right corner attack. So I'm going to take out the defensive unit in the far rear right corner. And then any mines along the route that are powerful enough to kill my laser rangers. Because while I land them last, they run the fastest, and they're going to be in the front of my troops as they sneak up the far right edge of the base. So I'm going to land all my troops on the far right in a sequence related to whether there's a defensive unit there. So I usually put Kavan and uh, heavies first so I don't lose any troops from the sniper tower there, for example. And then as soon as that first building goes down, Simultaneously, I throw a flare, I throw a smoke to protect the leading troops from any defensive units. Now, part of the key to this is getting your troops a little banged up under the smoke. It's actually necessary. You've got to hit at least one mine or let your troops get hit by some defenses that don't kill them. Because if you don't do that, your medics aren't going to run fast enough. And if they don't run fast enough, they get killed, and then you're not going to have any medics to heal your troops up in the fire corner. Now my Kavan didn't get under the smoke at the end there, and that's kind of a bummer, but I managed to recover from it. I threw down a remote hack to take out the Doom Cannon and distract all the troops around there, and I threw down a second remote hack. Part of the key to this is not using a lot of gunboat energy. You've really got to get the Kavan special ability second wind triggered immediately under the smoke at least once, hopefully twice. So that's your eight gunboat energy cost and your 18 gunboat energy cost. And as soon as you can, you've got to trigger the 28 gunboat energy cost with the aim of ultimately getting to the 38 gunboat energy cost without using a lot of other gunboat energy. So you might, uh, for example, throw down a seven gunboat energy shock, but that's about all you should use until you've got the 38 gunboat energy Kavan second wind going. Now, I lost my Kavan. He's, he's dead, but I have a bunch of troops and a bunch of energy to put down that shock. Now I'm going to uh, try to keep the troops in place, throw down a health pack, because all that's there to attack my troops at this point is just that one rocket launcher, and I have enough medics there to heal up my laser rangers with the occasional health pack to keep the rocket launcher distracted. It, meanwhile, really, the main damage is being done by my bombardiers. And the base goes down. So it's a successful smoky rear right corner attack. And one of the things that's important about this is you have to attack that far rear right corner building and knock it out. Because if you don't flare to the far rear right corner, your troops aren't going to hug the right edge of the map. All right, well, I'm going to close out the video showing you that I'm number one in the United States, number 25 on the main base. And I'm in a great day with warships at global number 386. Earlier I was 331. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give this video a like to help build our channel. And check out all of the 180 other videos on a variety of Boom Beach topics. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks as always to Hercules for help with the video editing.